this is a weird video to make. This is majority just like an update video. So a lot of my subscribers know that I wanted a matching 1.4 turbo to my, sh my Fiat 500 Abarth. I wanted a Chevy Sonic RS or a Chevy Cruze with a 1.4 DOHC turbo engine in it. I managed to get one from this car lot, Eddie Auto Brokers. Now, I'm hiding information so you can't directly call them or like whatever, but most of y'all know that I'm in the Cleveland area. Don't contact them and like try to do any harassment or anything because that's bullshit. Um, but I wanted to go over the update on the Chevy Sonic, the whole situation, because once in a while people ask. So this is just another one of those videos where I'm talking to you to a blank screen. I don't really have anything to show you. You would think I would just pick up some video games and like put them in the background like old school YouTube. Maybe I'll do that in the future. But right now I'm having GPU issues. So even that's out of the question. Um, I'm having a lot of issues. Mental, physical, uh, stupid. Anyway, <laughs> car. <laughs> um, the first thing I'm going to say is we are a minute 20 into this video. I will get to what went on with the Chevy Sonic here in a minute from start to finish. I've been without a job for a little over two months now. Anybody that sees this video, the very few of you that might, if you know of a remote position with whatever company you work for that could potentially fit my background of QA or anything electronics based that's, you know, networking, whatever, I'm whoring myself out to you right now. Don't show this video to your boss where I'm saying I'm whoring myself out, but like if you got a connection of some kind and you wanted to dig deep into your little heart and try to help out your fellow little 5,700 subbed YouTube channel guy, it would mean the world to me because jobs in my area, I looked at Indeed yesterday. I have sent out over 100 applications. I've had four responses. This is utterly ridiculous in my area. It's terrible. Anyway, so December 20th, 2023, I bought a 2014 Chevy Sonic RS from this company. What ended up happening after this was a series of unfortunate events. I knew it was losing coolant. I kept coolant jugs in the trunk and would top it off when I needed to, like once a week-ish. Um... And, you know, all was good. It was fine. I took it into a mechanic um, about two weeks after I bought it and had a f the first mechanic look it over, and they deemed potential head gasket issue. Um, I had never overheated the engine myself. Uh, they also found a couple coolant leaks. They found three of them to be specific. Um, they wanted something like 600 bucks to fix all three, I'm kind of mechanically inclined thanks to the Fiat, which is a whole nother story. Um, I fixed all three of the coolant leaks myself. Not a big deal. Very easy. I found all three. I fixed all three. I was just, you know, new car. I didn't want to, you know, touch it at first. I didn't have the confidence. But seeing a bill of like $600 to fix three coolant leaks that were just the coolant reservoir and two hoses, I got it. I did it. It was fine. It was easy. I repressurized the system it was completely fine uh after that it was still losing coolant and i was about a month and a half in driving the car and i noticed the coolant loss was worse after fixing the issues than it was prior to me um doing anything with those other three issues so i started looking around and one day when i was sitting in my driveway I decided to take the oil cap off and look underneath the oil cap and also pull the dipstick and look at the oil on the dipstick, both of which were looking like chocolate milk. Anybody that understands cars, you understand that oil and coolant, when it mixes anywhere in your engine, you get chocolate milk. And it gets thicker and thicker until you blow the engine up because you don't have any coolant anymore. You don't have oil anymore doing its oily job. You have goop doing its goopy job, and it causes your engine to seize up if you drive it. Um, 
a little side note, the car has now been sitting since the end of February in my backyard in a parking spot. The coolant reservoir was full. There is no longer oil or uh, coolant in the coolant reservoir. I have driven the car about 15 feet. I drove it home from the mechanic, which was a mile and a half. Parked it before my back gate for my driveway. And then three days later, pulled it into the backyard. It has sat and driven a mile and a half over the last two and a half months. And that's it. There is no coolant in that reservoir anymore. So it's still getting into the engine somewhere or still leaking out somewhere. Um, I had three mechanics look over the car, two of which said potential head gasket issue, even though they didn't detect exhaust gases in the intercooler and cooling system. Or not intercooler, uh, the cooling system. Um, they all, all three did a compression test. The compression came back okay. One of them that works on a ton of Chevy Sonics for Car Parts Warehouse said they actually suspected either the turbo or the uh, oil cooler gasket going bad. Now with that. The turbo, I think it's I think it's the turbo because where the wastegate actuator is, the little air hose that goes into the wastegate actuator for, you know, basically pressurizing that little round thing so the wastegate can open on the turbo. Um, it is squirting out coolant and oil that are mixed together from the little air hose. The air hose is full of coolant and oil. What the hell? It's not supposed to be. So, the long story short is, bought December 23, stopped driving beginning of February, started taking it to mechanics, and then I lost my job because of this car. I have been jobless for nearly a month and a half and haven't been to work in almost two and a half months because of this car and because of this situation. The Fiat is finally fixed. I do have a car I can drive, but... Even still, the way that car is, I probably shouldn't drive it much. I know it needs engine mounts, and it probably just needs a whole go-over because it's over 106,000 miles now. Um, I need to do an oil change. That's for damn sure on it. Oh, wait. No, I did one. Um, but, yeah, I don't really know what to do with this Chevy Sonic anymore. So that's why I'm making this video is to just tell everybody kind of what's been going on. I am looking for a job. If anybody has anything remote, like I said at the beginning of this, hit me up if you think I could fit it. Um, I'm kind of just along for the ride, so to speak, at this point. I have filled out over 100 job applications across multiple websites. I've had four callbacks, two of which already didn't go anywhere. So at this point, I'm at somebody's mercy at some point somewhere. I'm kind of just uh, not sure what to do. Um, if you've made it this far in, if you want me to put up, I could do a merch shop if you guys want to try to support and just throw your boy some stuff. I'm not willing to do just like, you know, a Kickstarter because I'm jobless or some stupid crap like that. I'm not one of those people. If you are willing to donate to me, that is awesome. But you're getting something in return. I have my Etsy shop. I can put stickers and merch up there very easily. I'm already planning on doing it for 1320 Challenge. I might as well make some Tech X stuff too. So, I don't know. I had somebody offer to fix the Chevy for me. Um, he has spare parts from his. He said give him 300 bucks. He'll install the turbo with me in my backyard and look it over to make sure it's even the turbo first because he has experience with these engines and these cars. I think I'll take it. Let me know what you guys would do in my situation in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.